going to set up a communication between MIDI designer and machine. So the first thing I'm going to do is on the computer I'm going to launch machine and while machine is launching I'm going to go in I'm going to set up a drum pad so I'm going to go I'm going to go into more design and tap anywhere and I'm going to add a button and I'm going to remove the label from the button and I'm going to change the button type to drum pad and I'm going to change its MIDI type the message type is control change by default I'm going to change it to note on note off and I'm going to change its note to C4 which we'll use as the starting note in machine so I'm going to do apply and then I'm going to get out of here now I've got a drum pad and now let's go back to machine and get ready for that so the first thing I'm going to do in machine is I'm going to do a completely new project so there's no confusion here and then in uh, group A, I'm going to load a kit. I'm just going to load one of the default kits. I'm going to load the 808 kit. Okay. And now in machine, I want to make sure that I'm getting the input from my network connection. So I go to um, File, Audio and MIDI Settings. And in MIDI, I can see the inputs here and one of them is called MIDI designer demo I want to turn that from off to on okay now I click OK and now I have to get my kit set up to receive the MIDI notes so the way to do that is I right click on the kit now I'm going to go to sound MIDI batch setup and I'm going to choose the last option sounds to MIDI notes so that means that there's one MIDI note for each sound sounds to MIDI notes and it's expecting a C3 in MIDI designer we call that C4 there's some discrepancy in the MIDI spec as to which is correct or both so this is C3 I'm okay I'm accepting on MIDI channel 1 so I click apply here okay now let's make sure that we're working in MIDI designer so this is a drum pad so in the center it'll be louder and on the edges it'll be quieter so that's working so now let's make 16 of these so I double tap on this control and I do make similar and now I get out of design mode so that's working and now when I want to make a lot of them I go back into design mode and I double tap on this and now I'm going to tap on the red LED on the top right of the design properties page so that will allow me to move this around and it stays where it is so now I do make similar make similar and now I'm gonna do all of these now I exit design mode and see how things are working okay so that's working and now let's add one last thing we're going to add a well we're gonna add two more things one is a pitch bend knob just because we get that for free with a machine so I'm going to go into more design mode and I'm just going to add a slider pitch bend well I'll call it pitch and 
In the MIDI properties, I'm going to change its type from control change to pitch bend. Pitch bend, click apply, exit design mode. So now this should change the pitch. Now we probably want this to snap to center, so let's try that. So I'm going to go into the MIDI properties of pitch, advanced, snap to default value. I'm going to have it do it in one second. Exit. Okay, so uh, that's a pitch bend knob. So now I'm going to show how to map to a parameter of the kit. I'm just going to map to the volume of the kit. So I'm going to go into more design mode. I'm going to add a slider. Okay. Um, this slider is going to be called volume. Uh, let's go into its MIDI properties, control change 1-1, one, one. let's change that to 133 is fine, apply, exit. So now I've got a, a volume which is not doing anything. Okay, so let's map it up. In machine, I go to the group and I go to the output of the group and I see the level parameter here and I'm going to put this, uh, I'm going to right click on level, assign macro control, macro one. Now I go back into the macro control here for, for the group as well and you can see that level is mapped here so that would control the level and now let's map that to MIDI designer. So I right click it here, enter MIDI learn, I move the slider in MIDI designer and now I'm moving the level control as you can see. So now I've got Okay, so now I've mapped to one parameter. You can map to any parameter. Um, I could map to a parameter on an effect as well or a parameter on a sound. Basically all of this is done through the macro controls in machine. Now I'm going to show how to do this exact same thing through uh, Ableton Live with machine as an instance running inside Ableton Live. So let's see exactly how that would work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this whole project and I'm going to save this as machine demo 502, save it. Okay, now I'm going to exit machine with command Q and now I'm going to open Ableton Live. And um, I'm going to put a machine instance in a MIDI track. So I go into the MIDI track, click on external plugins, here are my plugs, drag machine into the track. I'm going to load my project here into the machine instance. So I'm going to just open uh, machine demo 502, here it is. So I open that. And now you can see that um, this is doing nothing yet. So now I'm going to, now I'm just going to route the MIDI from the network connection to the machine plugin. So first I go into live preferences and I go into the MIDI tab and here in the inputs I see my network MIDI designer demo and it's got track coming in as off. It's got remote on but track off. So I want to turn that on, close this. And now let's be specific here. Instead of all instruments, we're going to do uh, Network MIDI Designer Demo. 
and this is now still it's not doing anything if I change monitoring to in now it should work okay so that's all working um, now I want to show how to redo the volume knob instead of going through track routing which is how we did this so far I want the volume knob to come through host automation so I'm going to show how to do host automation using machine in live so to do this the first thing I do is I open the machine plugin and I go to that uh, to that macro parameter so here are the macro parameters for the group macro parameters for the group and I see that level is mapped so the first thing I want to do is I want to remove the assignment so I right click on, ma on the macro remove assignment okay so now this should be doing not working okay that's great and now I'm going to go in uh, Ableton Live I'm you can see that the plugin here has a little configure button. I'm going to do configure. And now I'm going to move the macro control in, in the machine plugin. And we can see that this is exposed as macro A1. Now I can map to that using MIDI. So I'm just going to do command M. Click on this parameter. Move my, uh, my slider. And now I'm going to hit escape in Ableton Live and now I'm moving this parameter you can see I'm moving the macro and let's see if this is working okay it's not controlling the volume because that got knocked out so let's go back into the outputs and we're going to go to the level and assign macro control I'm going to bring this onto the screen right click on level assign macro control macro one and now Okay, so now we're basically done. We're inside Ableton Live. We're using a uh, machine. We're controlling it. We're controlling a kit. We're controlling one of the parameters with host automation. We still have our pitch bends, so...